Whether we love them or hate them, meetings are an essential part of adult life and we can't escape them. But we can make them 10 times or even 100 times more effective and useful. And no, I don't think that's an exaggeration. If you're tired of trying to locate your notes because you just wrote them on the first piece of paper that was on your desk or whatever document was open on your desktop at that given moment in time to not being able to keep up with the note taking and missing the conversation because you're trying to create a new heading or hyperlink something into the document or if you have ever forgotten to take notes and then had a hard time remembering what the action items were, uh, the names of the attendees, or the important details that just could have helped you to do your job better. And let's see a raise of hands if this has ever happened to you. I know I am guilty of this one and most likely the other ones too. And finally, if you ever thought to yourself how much easier note taking would be if you just had a system and a template that you could just open with one click. If you ever found yourself in these situations, you're in the right place. The thing is, when you build a system of note-taking, you not only save time and have a better grip of what is happening in the business, but you can also achieve better results uh, because you'll have everything recorded and can be on top of what needs to happen. Bonus, you'll also be the impressive team member or the business owner, depending on whatever you do, who always has all the information and answers when someone else is trying to find something from that meeting. And I'll share one more great side effect of systematic note taking for business later on in the video, so stay tuned for that too. As you've already understood, in this video, I'll cover my note-taking method and approach for any type of meeting that I go into, whether it is a new collaboration with a brand, whether it's a virtual coffee chat with someone and I'm just meeting them, uh, or if it's a job interview or a team meeting. So regardless of the type of meeting, I use this approach for note-taking and make adjustments when and as needed. And I'll just put in a little disclaimer here. If you work for a big corporate company or work with a very big team and are expected to use certain tools or a certain template of note-taking, this might not be super relatable for you, but I'm sure there are going to be circumstances where you can definitely take this approach and it could come in handy because not all meetings that you're gonna have throughout your whole life is going to be for that corporate company. But um, just wanted to mention that there will definitely be some takeaways for anyone despite the type of company, despite the type of business that you work for or have. So if you're ready to lift off the stress of note taking during meetings, then let's get into it. If you're familiar with any of my content, you know that Notion is my home base. I create everything in Notion. I file my um, documents in Notion as well and keep track of everything here. So if this is not your system of choice, that's still okay. I'm just going to show you my approach and why I use this as well. Uh, so if you can take anything away from this, it should be the approach and how you can just effectively take notes during meetings. And so right now you're looking at my CRM, but obviously the uh, details are going to be blurred here, but this is my personal CRM and we're looking at it in a list view. So the left hand side is the names of the people that I get in contact with. And then I'm also uh, looking at in the list view, the tags that I've assigned to them. So depending on the type of the meeting that I've had with them, you're seeing the colors uh, of those tags. And then there's the date when I have created this um, contact in my CRM. And then finally, I also wanted to see the company name so that everything is just like in one snapshot, I can see who this person is when I've last, um, you know, connected with them and what type of communication I've had with them. So this is just a, a per, just a little sneak peek into my CRM. And I found this to be so, so helpful in so many ways, but that's not the point. I'm just going to go ahead and click new and show you the template that I've created to create a new contact or record notes from a new meeting. So if the person that I'm contacting with is a new contact that it doesn't already exist in my CRM, I just add their name. Uh, and then fill up all of these properties. 
if it's relevant if it's not relevant i may leave them blank and let's take a look at all the other things as well so next step if it's the sponsored content because those are the types of meetings that i record here i tag the engagement and obviously you can add more options here depending on what your needs are so i have all of these tags that are helpful to categorize my meetings for my own business and then I obviously enter the name of the company, etc. But then this section of the template actually helps me to fill out the, I guess, the database for every contact in my CRM. And then the rest of this template is all about the meeting itself. So here I write the topic of the meeting. If it's a team sync on a January marketing campaign, that's what I would write here. And then if there is multiple attendees, uh, the main contact goes here, the one that I've communicated with to organize this meeting, but everyone else's names will go under attendees. And I typically also write not only their names, but also their titles as well. And just a brief information about what they specifically do within the team. So I have more context when I want to uh, ask them for something, when I connect with, with them on something else. So this is just as you know, I, I try to be as helpful to my future self as possible. And so this is where that section goes. Uh, and then context of the meeting. So if I already have some information about what this meeting is going to be about before going into it, this is where I take some notes before going in the meeting. I find that it's a, it's a good preparation to know what it is going to be about, like what the goal is. And if I have prepared for it, anything that goes there and then relevant links. So if it's a new company that I'm um, meeting with, then I will put their relevant links there. And yeah, if they have like any sources, if there is a uh, content that I came across that I want to reference in during my meeting, then those links will go here. The next section is for my questions and notes for the session. So this until this point is all the preparation. And then the remaining sections are what I write within or after the meeting. So this is where, you know, as I'm going through their material or their LinkedIn page, whatever it may be, do I have any questions to make note of before the meeting or anything that I want to bring up for this meeting? This is where that goes. The next two sections are the ideas and notes and action items. And this is the section where I fill in during the meeting itself. So having these categories already kind of pre-populated with the headings is helpful to, to get a head start because if you're just writing on a blank piece of paper with no like context before, after any kind of style formatting, it just makes it uh, more difficult to, I guess, return to that idea uh, in a more visible format. So I like to see things in different categories using headings and different types of text styling. Using Notion is also very handy for me because it's, you know, the shortcuts have become very much second nature. So bullet points, everything else, if there is different categories of things that we talk or cover during the meeting. I also like to uh, use the stylings like, um, let's say this is a text sample. And then if I wanted to actually do this like a call out, then this is what I would do. Or if this is a quote, then I would also turn it into a quote, quote etc. So later on, uh, if I don't have the time to do it during the meeting, this is something I get back to right after the meeting. So I can just have a more visual uh, way of looking at things. And then here is literally just like choose a to do and start writing your action items. And you can also write names assigned to them so that, you know, if it's not all assigned to you, then you also know that. So one thing I had promised in the beginning of the video was to share another benefit of, or a great side effect of using um, this type of systematic approach for note taking. And that is, especially when you do all of it in one specific tool like Notion, or if everything is, I don't know, in your Evernote or Google Docs, what happens after a point is that, you know, you meet a founder or you meet a, you meet someone and they mention to you that they are looking for this social media content creator that knows how to also speak French and knows a certain industry that they function in. 
And all of a sudden, when you have all of these notes in one single platform and in an organized way, it's much easier to drive connections between different contacts or different meetings that you've had in the past. And if you notice that, you know, when you're on a call and someone mentions to you that they're looking for someone and you know that that person actually exists in your CRM and you could just connect them very easily, it just becomes such a great side benefit of having this type of, you know, methodical and organized approach to note taking for meetings. So this is pretty much it. I mean, it's not a very complex template, but it is nonetheless a template that has served me super well and has made my life so, so much easier and definitely hundred X the effectiveness and usefulness of my meetings. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, you know what to do, but I'm just gonna remind you again, please hit that like button. It means a lot for the channel and let's get this video, this content to spread and reach a bigger audience. If you're not already subscribed, you might also wanna do that because there is a video coming up around the first days of January when I will be talking about an amazing um, meeting tool that has saved me so much money and time and I don't want you to miss out on that. I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys. Bye bye.